Yo, what's up guys, welcome back. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate you guys taking time and tuning into my channel. So, this video is just, um, should I say clarity or a confirmation or reading our suggestions? But what happened is last month, I posted a status saying I need a new phone. And then people gave me suggestions and stuff and all those kind of things. And then eventually I asked a question cause the answers that I got were amongst the three devices with an exception of one. Uh, it was about Huawei, Samsung and Apple, which is iPhone of course. So I just wanna go through the comments that most of you guys, well, my friends, my close friends, cause I did this on WhatsApp what you sent me and what you suggested but uh, maybe before we get into that that was not really a joke i was not really interested on on having a chat with you guys or just checking what in phone you're interested in but for those who actually ask personally why do you need a new phone it's because well i don't know about since five years ago i've been carrying two phone, two phones with me all the time and it had to be an ios and android so i already have iphone 10s which is my daily drive i carry it with me everywhere i go and the second phone i have is a sony xperia e5 which i've been using since april 2017 and it's been two years now the phone that i used before on the iOS, ios side is iphone 6 yeah the iphone 6 which i bought in 2015 so i've been using that phone for since 2015 until 2018 august when i created iphone 10 yeah iphone 10 uh when i got it as my birthday gift then last month i upgraded to iphone 10s and then long story short the reason why i need a new phone is because i need to replace this sony um sony xperia e5 which has been failing me a lot of time this is one of the devices i don't know if you guys you find yourself in a situation whereby you actually regret buying a certain device this is one of them and my main concern and my worry is because i don't use this phone much i don't do a lot of things on this phone besides calling and using it as a hotspot <laughs> that's my confession and nothing literally nothing else it's just for the phone calls and then i use it as a backup to check my notification which i don't even open them here i check them up on this phone then i'll switch on to my ios to actually reply if i need a reply or any other things and just to run because it's an android of course just for for those android seamless things like the google account and gmail and stuff but this phone has been failing lately it's bit overheat if i sleep with 100 percent i normally sleep like 1 to 2 a.m and then by 7 half past 7 i'm up in the morning this phone will be dead so last night i think i slept around 2 30 a.m and like five i was up and it was 32 percent i don't know how far it was gonna last how far it was gonna go until it dies but it keeps on overheating it shuts down and another challenge is when you call me on this phone it will ring five times on your side and then by the six times that it's ringing on me i'm sure most of you are already hanging up anyway let's jump into the comments so i'm not gonna read all of them because there's like about 84 of you who send me this suggestion suggesting the phone but i'm really tempted tempted to go through all of them but i don't know if you did send me a comment and i don't read it out here please hard luck uh this is not personal but i'm gonna start with uh bruce bruce spoke about iphone he said any iphone because of the a12 by nick chip which i don't think it's in all of the iphones but on the latest one and then another thing he mentioned is about the security when you get to use the facial recognition on the phone that has face id and then he is willing to spend about 300 rand a month which is gonna cost him about 36 months to, to settle for a decent phone and then my girlfriend said an iphone s because of the quality durability and the good pictures it takes and then Molaro said Xiaomi my mix 3 um, because the price is right and he's not willing to spend anything more than 8,000 rand on the phone and then Kumero my sister she said an iPhone because the hardware she believes that the hardware and the software they are just one thing and then the 3d touch sensors on the screen they are just perfect 
So Clifford said Samsung is because he's loyal to the brand, but however, he likes iPhone and Huawei cameras. But however, he's willing to get a Samsung, a decent Samsung for 8,000 rand. Ngoluleko is, hey, my brother, Huawei is it for me primarily because I own one and I'm happy with it. It has never disappointed me and I'm willing to spend about 10k. However, I still see that Samsung iPhone, um, they're becoming better each and every day. So I might consider switching into another Android device. So in this case, it's going to be a Samsung. And then Victor said, well, iPhone. iPhone for me, it's very user-friendly, fast processor. Uh, I just need to get the right size. So because I know Victor personally, he doesn't, he's not a big fan of the bigger screens, the iPhone Plus, or I think it was even hard for him to switch to iPhone 7, but he likes iPhone SE as well as the iPhone 5. He likes those sizes and he is willing to spend 5K. So I guess iPhone 5 or the SE is a, a right phone for him. And then Ernest, he said iPhone, but he's only willing to spend 3,000 Rand. So it's, it's a bit of a challenge because even the cheapest iPhone, which is brand new in the market, which is iPhone 6, if you unlock, you're gonna get it for 6,000, 6.5, somewhere there. But for anything less than 5,000, I don't think you're gonna get any iPhone if it's brand new, unless, I'm not sure. And then Austin said, he's uh, I'm an iPhone person. I'm currently using iPhone 10, and I'll get any latest iPhone in the market for whatever price it costs. Good choice. And then Prince Fumo said, I would personally go for Huawei Mate 20. I like the design, I like the camera quality, and the you know the new things which are changing on the phone. And I wouldn't buy an expensive phone cash, rather a contract, and make sure that it's insured. This guy is very loyal to Huawei and the Android family. And then Kodani said, Huawei P20, because it's accessible, it's secure, and you find things like facial recognition, touch ID, you also get to use your password or your pin code to unlock the phone. And the camera is dope. According to Kodani, it's better than iPhone and any Samsung you know in the market. And then he said he's willing to spend about 16K on that phone. And then another person is Nosy Claire. She said, I'm an iPhone person. I'm not sure why, but iPhone. She didn't mention the price, how much she's willing to spend. And then Rara, the Rara, Mr. Rara Entertainment says, um, iPhone, I'm just loyal to the brand um, because it's linked to my laptop. So Brendani uses an MacBook Air. He has an iPhone and then he has an Apple Watch. He is in April almost everything, so for him it's loyalty to the brand. And then Shiloba said, I would go for an iPhone. Hmm, honestly, I'm a picture edit and I see that the iPhone takes nice pictures and I'm willing to spend six grand, six thousand South African brand. You can only get iPhone 6, iPhone 7 if you are lucky. And if you need, you know, the latest technology when it comes to pictures, you're gonna need to get at least a phone that supports uh, portrait and good square pictures which i think you can find it on is it iphone 7 plus or 8 plus which is the portrait mode the one with uh dual lens camera and then i'm gonna make this one maybe let me to pick two more people and then rasul rasul said uh i'll go for a galaxy note 9 um because well it's been a heavy to me i like all my android phone has been the note from the first generation i've been using each and every one that comes out in the market and it meets all my needs when it comes to the size the speed and then the storage so the current one that he has he said he has, it has 128 gig of storage and then he is willing to spend uh plus minus 18,000 south african rand on galaxy note 9 or whatever galaxy note is out there in the market and then the last one i'm gonna pick uh lucas lucas says iphone x R is great for me because quality of the phone and then it's more formal. I don't know what you mean by formal, but okay, I don't want to pay. I'm currently using a phone, a Sony, and it's boring me. So I picked this one intentionally because Lucas and I have been using almost the same phone and we had the same challenge. I'm not sure if this has been addressed with Sony, but I have 
two of my colleagues were using the same phone and it hasn't been good. Sony, I don't know, do something about this. I'm not sure if there's something that we need to do and we can't keep on fetching this phone because half of the time I didn't use this phone. Like for about six months, this phone waiting for repair and I don't know if they were able to fix it, but I was told that everything on the phone was replaced. It's like I got a whole new phone completely with the new cover because even the covers were brand new. So I'm just not sure. So Sony, do something about it. So guys, uh, thank you so much for your comment. Sorry if I didn't reach your comment here or your suggestion here. I'm sorry about that. But uh, soon I'm going to be choosing the phone that I need to buy. But I must really realize really that I'm not feeling Android anymore. I don't know. Convince me. Convince me. Give me the reason why I should go for Android. I'm willing to consider. The only phone that I think I can get when it comes to the Android family is the Google Pixel which may be the less chase one which might come out in October, I might go for that one. But at the moment, I'm not feeling anything. And it's, this is not really about the camera or speed, the look and feel or the performance, but I don't know. Like I said, iOS for me is a great experience. I find Android is just a functionality. So convince me otherwise. And in that case, I'll see you on my next video. So if you have suggestions, drop them in the comment section below. Feel free to share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, do yourself a favor, click the red button below and subscribe to DK Deft. And I'll see you guys on my next video.